And so we were at this national competition. And the year before, everyone was looking at me because I was one of the best. But six months after my injury, I was in my manual chair, pushing through thick, thick carpet at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel. And if anyone has ever tried to push a wheelchair through carpet, you know, that's not easy. But people were staring. And they weren't staring at me because I was the best. And it just looked like they were looking at me and saying, why are you here? You don't belong here. <laughs> it was at that point I just wanted to scream, you don't know who I am. And as I struggled to get into my hotel room and push open the door, I started bawling. It was really one of the first times I had broken down. I was no longer a gymnast. For 13 out of the 16 years of my life, I had been known as a gymnast. About 20 hours of my week was spent at the gym. And that was gone. That's an example of an intangible loss, is the loss of identity.